Welcome back to the stadium, Lavelle Edwards Stadium. BYU 28, San Diego State 14 on senior night for the Cougars. Dax Milne joining us on the headset. Greg Grubel, Riley Nelson up here in the booth. Uh, Dax down to the Cougar locker room area. Dax, thanks for coming on tonight, and congratulations to you and the guys on the win. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really nice bounce back. Uh, so what, what did it take for you and some of your teammates to put last week in the rear view and get fully focused on what was next with a tough San Diego State coming into town this week? How was it for you? Um, yeah, I think it was I think it was kind of easy to to hurry and put that in our rear view mirror because we just really wanted to get back on the field and um and we also knew that we had lost to these guys last year and so it wasn't too difficult to to put them as our main focus and and uh get going with it. Can I ask you a weather question? How much does or did the cold personally affect you? How much is mind over matter and how much is it just a real physical grind on a night like tonight? Yeah, tonight wasn't that bad, to be honest. Um, I think it would have been a little bit more of a factor if there was wind. Uh, wind always just makes it worse. But, yeah, tonight most guys were going sleeveless. I was going sleeveless. Um, I think the worst part is just keeping your hands and, and, and your toes cold, uh, warm. But other than that, it wasn't that bad. Dax, I felt like uh, schematically San Diego State was – Hell bent on not giving up the big play, which this BYU offense has produced so frequently. So saw a lot more like short to intermediate passing game. Did you was that the game plan coming in? And then secondly, with how much success you've had with the explosive plays uh, during the season, uh, I, really I felt like we hadn't seen the short to intermediate passing game. How did you guys stay so sharp to be able to pull that out today and have it be such a vital part of the win? Yeah, um, you know, we respected uh, San Diego State's uh, scheme. They they've always had a a good scheme coming against us and <clears throat> we knew that we could like uh like you said get those short to intermediate passes and and um dice them up like that and here and there just hit some shots and uh, me and zach were weren't on the same page exactly on the deep shots uh, in the first half uh, i was able to get open on some but um weren't able to connect because of pressure or whatnot, but um, I'm glad we connected on in the second half on our sideline. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I think uh, we did a good job with our with our game plan. Yeah, talk about that connection. I think that was uh, the play of the night between you and Dax, or between you and Zach. And I think um, it really, I mean, there were a lot of good catches. As Isaac had that good one in the back of the end zone. Although he somehow ended up having a DN covering him. I don't know how that happened. I'll have to go back watch the film on that. But no, was that a uh, was that a back shoulder throw? Was it just the ball didn't carry as well in the back? But you did a great job because it looked like the dude was step for step, but showed ba- great body control, was able to make the catch and secure it through physical contact. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, that play was they were bringing the house uh, in the box, and so Zach uh, had to get it out a little quicker than usual, and so um, he still made a hell of a throw. It was just right there, <clears throat> right when I turned to turn my head, it just kind of in that back back shoulder pocket. Um, I think he could have gone, he could have made it a longer throw, or did the throw that he did. Either one, I think would have would have worked but i'm glad we connected hey speaking of mismatches your touchdown in the south end zone they you know i don't know how that guy ended up on you but uh was that play designed to go to you or is it just simply zach looked out there and was like oh there's no way this dude's de- coming dax on an arrow and uh, just got you the ball quick uh no that play was designed to go to me um we 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 thought that we could we could uh, expose that um and uh, I'm just glad it all worked because they weren't ready for it, obviously. Yeah, no, not at all. The pretty easy six. No, you had a great night tonight. Thank you. Little, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here, uh, Dax, with some, some trivia pressure for you. So I'm going to give you four teams, and you're going to tell me what they have in common. All right? BYU, Alabama, Coastal Carolina, Notre Dame. What would you say? I would, I would go ahead and say ten wins. You got it, man. I'll have ten wins or more. BYU ten and one, Notre Dame ten and zero, Bama ten and zero, Coastal eleven and zero. They got their win today, so good for them. So you're in some pretty exclusive company. Look at him nail that, by the way. Um, Junkie. <laughs> feels good to have BYU back in in double digit win territory again. You're part of a special group. Do you do you do you believe that? Oh yeah, uh, I've I've seen it uh, unfold as the season went on. I knew this team was special, and um, I'm glad we were able to put that stamp of uh, ten wins on and. And go down as you know one of the one of the better teams that's come through here. First ten win team in eleven in uh, in nine years for BYU since 2011. But there's more football to play, 
And, and we'd presume, I mean, things could change, but we don't expect them to, that, that your next game is going to be in a bowl game somewhere. And after a game like tonight, I think anywhere warm feels good to you, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I was telling my teammates. I just hope we go to a bowl game that's just warm. Okay. <laughs> Well, it is great to have more football to play and know you get one more ride with your guys and, and turn a 10-win season into an 11-win season. And and maybe we could just get one last thing from you, Dax, about a perspective on what it's taken to get 11 games played. I mean, forget the fact you got 10 wins, which is awesome. Getting 11 and, and 12 games in in a season like this, not everyone can do it. As you know, what has it taken for this BYU program to play 11, get 11 in, win 10, and keep rolling at this point? Yeah, yeah, it's been amazing. Um, I think it just comes down to our culture of just always just being ready and, and uh, Kalani being a great leader, um, coaching up our attitude on, on how we always need to be ready. And, and uh, hats off to Tom Homo for for uh, just having our, our best interests in mind and just going out and just saying, hey, we'll play anyone, anytime. Um, so it's special. Well, we're glad we get to call at least uh, one more of your games this year. So fun to watch you. Uh, go to work and and doing great work. 1,099 receiving yards and counting for you right now. And those 1,000-yard seasons are rare as well. And you put yourself in exclusive company in that sense as well. Uh, Dax, thanks for coming on. Uh, congratulations again. Have a great and a safe week. And, and uh, we look forward to your next game. I appreciate you guys. All right, that is Dax Milne.